hi everyone welcome back to another interesting topic in today's video i'm going to show you how to conceive a baby girl naturally now there are three things that you need to know before we get into this video one is your menstrual cycle you need to understand how to calculate your menstrual cycle if you don't know there's a link in the description box below this video about how to calculate your menstrual cycle you also need to know your fatal days knowing your fatal days will help you know when to conceive for a baby girl there is also a link in the description box below this video as a guide to help you know about your fatal days then finally the day of your ovulation for you to conceive a baby girl you shouldn't have unprotected intercourse on your ovulation day then how will you know the day that you're ovulating there's a link in the description box below this video as well that could guide you on how to calculate your ovulation so without taking much of your time let's dive into this video. according to dr lanjum Shitos, the female producing sperm that is the egg sperm which will be a baby girl is slower what it means is that you remember that sperm survives in a woman's body up to five days what it means is that when a man's fluid is released in a woman's body both the eggs and the white sperm cells begin to move okay they move and the female sperm that is the egg sperm moves slowly while the male sperm moves very fast so if the egg sperm moves slower it's also very strong unlike the white sperm that is fragile and dies quickly this baby girl is very strong stronger than the white sperm okay and also lives longer so it keeps moving the white sperm dies quickly because it's fragile but this one is very strong and lives longer it could even live up to five days in a woman's body waiting for the egg to be released but that white sperm what happens is that it's very fast but fragile so it moves quickly to reach the ovary and once getting there since your inflation day has not reached it won't see any egg to fertilize there won't be any egg there for fertilization to take place then it dies off while this x sperm cell keeps moving is very slow the one is still alive the two is still alive it keeps moving 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 slowly and by the time it reaches the ovary maybe an egg might have been released and it fertilizes and the woman becomes pregnant with a baby girl so i'm going to use this calendar to show you when to have unprotected intercourse to enable you conceive a baby girl so i'm going to use a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle first to show you when to conceive a baby girl now let's believe that you saw the first day of your last menstrual period was on the first this first is considered your the one you remember yes is considered your day one so if this is your day one if this is your day one that's for a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle this should be your day two your day three your day four your day five your day six day seven day eight day nine day ten day eleven day twelve day thirteen day fourteen day fifteen day 16, day 17, day 18, day 19, day 20, day 21, day 22, day 23, day 24, day 25, day 26, day 27, day 28. That is for a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle. So for this woman with 28 days menstrual cycle, we know that she ovulates on day 14. So here will be her ovulation day. For her to conceive a baby girl, she should not have anything to do on day 14 because it's going to be her ovulation day. And remember that 
the white sperm moves fast. So if the woman should have anything to do with unprotected intercourse on that ovulation day, that Y sperm swims faster than the X sperm. It swims faster and gets fertilized, and the baby becomes a boy. We are talking about how to conceive a baby girl. So what happens since the X sperm swims slowly? Then the woman should have unprotected intercourse at least from five days before the ovulation day. So this is the ovulation day. From the nine, from the nine, if this woman should have unprotected intercourse from day nine, you remember this is a fertile period. This is a fertile period, five days before the ovulation day and about two days or a day after the ovulation and her fertile days. So the nine, if she should have unprotected intercourse here, definitely she will get pregnant with a baby girl. Even on day 10, on her day 11, day 12. So she can, but on day 13, she might get pregnant with a boy. So nine, the 10, the 11, the 12, she should have unprotected intercourse, she'll conceive a baby girl. This calculation is the same. If you have 30 days menstrual cycle, you know that you're ovulating on day 16. So don't meet a man on day 16. Don't meet the man on your day 16. If you have 30 days menstrual cycle, because the 16 is going to be your ovulation day. So if you do anything there, it's going to be a baby boy. I, I tell you, it works like magic, okay? By the grace of God. In five days before the ovulation. Don't even do a day before your ovulation day because it could be a baby boy. Now spend jelly fast. The white spring. Before it reaches the ovary, an egg might have been released. So it's just few days, five days, four days, three days before your ovulation day. If you're planning to get pregnant with a baby girl naturally. But the truth is that whether you're giving birth to a baby girl or a baby boy, the most important thing is to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below share with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell to enable you to notify you whenever i upload a new video and to subscribe is free so go ahead and subscribe and don't forget also to join my membership as a way of supporting my youtube channel thank you so much once again for watching see you in my next video bye